Hi, this is Jeff with Challenger Auto and Truck Service. I uh, want to take a little bit of time to talk to you about the, I'm going to call it the oil change interval crisis. Um, and I will contradict 90% of vehicle owners' manuals. And we're going to go through and explain the why. Now, some people would say, and there is plenty on YouTube on you know, why so many places have different oil change intervals, etc. And this is what the uh, automotive manufacturer says. And if the automotive manufacturer says it, then it has to be golden. Well, let's all think about this for a moment. What does an autom automotive manufacturer want to do? They want to sell cars. Absolutely. They want to sell new cars. Maybe this could be considered a little bit of a conspiracy theory. But there's something interesting to think about in that what our warranties are nowadays, how they are strictly tied to our maintenance schedules and being able to prove that you've changed your engine oil. Meaning if you have a vehicle that you like to do your oil changes yourself, well you better have receipts, you better have mileage, because if you have an engine problem within the warranty period and you cannot prove the type of oil that was used, the mileage interval that it was changed in, your warranty will likely be voided. So when we think about what the car manufacturer's goal is and where they want to be at in regards to their warranty and how frequently they want to sell a vehicle, then we need to consider that oil change interval. So nowadays, and meaning nowadays, really since 2010 and on, most vehicles are taking full synthetic engine oil. And our vehicles have oil life monitors. And these oil life monitors need to be reset with an oil change. And they give you the notification of an oil change, typically somewhere between 7,500 miles, and we have some vehicles going all the way out to 12,000 miles. And then in our owner's manuals, if we actually read them in regards to the oil change interval, a lot of them will say once a year or every 7,500 miles or 10,000 miles. And when we do a synthetic oil change, we do reset the oil life monitor, but on our oil change sticker, we put 5,000 miles. So why am I contradicting what the vehicle manufacturer is stating. I do look at vehicles from an investment point of view. Uh, my opinion is my first 100,000 miles I paid for, my second 100,000 miles I broke even, and my third 100,000 miles I actually earned money back on my vehicle. I'm not going to risk my investment, meaning I do not want to be putting an engine in my vehicle at the four-year mark when I'm still making a car payment on it. That's uh, very expensive. And I might actually be out of my warranty by then. Although there is powertrain warranties that typically run somewhere between the three and five year mark. Um, so uh, if you ever have any questions in regards to your uh, best oil change interval practice, please feel free to give us a call, uh, even if you're not a client. And um, once again, my name is Jeff with Challenger Auto and Truck Service. And thank you for taking the time to watch the video.